<laughs> As I record, he gets a Santa hat. Wow. Jeez. That's crazy. Congrats to uh, Haas on the uh, on the Santa hat right there. Okay, but uh, yeah, uh, so if you can tell from the title, it's going to be another little update video. Um, whenever there's a major update, I'll probably do one of these, and I'll just go over the big things. Uh, big old fat list. Um, quite a few things if you want to go uh, have a look for yourself. I'll just give you the highlights here. So, uh, one thing that was done that people are probably going to want to know about is the clue rebalance. Let me make this right here. Um, and we'll open up a couple. So, with the rebalancing, there's I didn't really give a lot of information on the forums, which is why I wanted to talk about it in this video. Um, there was a lot of junk items that aren't even in like actual clue scrolls. Like um, I think it's possible to get stuff like. Um, Adamant Square. Actually, I think you can get. It. I, you could get things that you couldn't normally get. There was a lot of. There's a lot of junk items, and the um, the weight that they had off of the table was was very high, so they were very likely to give them. Um, so basically, I removed a lot of those junk items and then rebalanced some of the loots. Uh, so it's not crazy. You're not like gonna just open up. You know, f I'm not gonna open up uh, f every single third age piece in here. Um, it is theoretically possible, so that'd be hilarious if I get a third age. No, but if, if you look at it, it looks more realistic as, uh, you know, it looks more like what clues would look like. Here, obviously, is a really good clue. See, there's no, like, you know, I, I removed all of the bucket helms and everything like that. They're trash. So you will get more of the items you needed for Comp Cape. Um, but th that wasn't really part of the goal. The part of the goal was really to just remove the, uh... The, the the real junk items because you can I mean you could open up a clue and it could just be like six you know six bucket helms and nobody wants that and you look at these items and they're I think it's a lot better I think you'll, you know people will will f agree open up some mediums uh, but yeah nothing too crazy um, still probably won't see any range boots or any third age I mean you can just you know it's not super likely and uh, so yeah as you can see all you know relatively decent items compared to uh, you know, the original junk items. Because, like, I think before you get, like, leather from medium clues and whatnot. So that's been rebalanced. Uh, should be a lot better now. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the Traveling Salesman. I'm going to get there in real time just to show you how to um, teleport to Artie. Uh, basically, this Traveling Salesman is going to come around every once in a while. If you're familiar with Vic, the, the, the XP trader dude on uh, RS3, it's going to be similar to that where he'll come and go... Um, probably like on a monthly or bi-monthly basis, so it's not going to be in-game very long. I'm not sure exactly how long I'll keep him. Um, and then when he goes away, he'll be gone for a long time as well. So, you definitely want to take advantage of any of his goodies while you can. So let me empty. get rid of that. So just walk up here. He's in a similar spot than he is in the actual RuneScape. I just used the Rosalo NPC because that made the most sense. And uh, you're probably going to hear a couple, a couple different names for this NPC, but we'll just try to stick with his actual name, Rosalo, so it doesn't get confusing. Because I've talked about this update a lot, and I've, I think I've said different things like every single time, so I'm sure people are are uh, going to be a little confused. But hopefully this guide will help, or the video will help. Rather. So you can talk to him, and he somehow has the ability to access your bank. And then if you trade him, this is what he has. So it's a pretty good-looking shop. Uh, so for starters, you have the baller title. Uh, which uh, gives you the title baller. Let me show you how that works. Uh, I've talked about the title system before, um, and phase one of the uh, title system has been put in game, so I always do that every time. Um, so then there's a couple in the game. There's the baller one, the voter one from voting, expert from trivias. I believe Slayer from <laughs> Slayer is in game. And then Lucky from Mystery Boxes and Chests and whatnot are also in there. Um, and then the rest of them are going to be added in the next update batch. So you have the baller title, which I'll show you kind of how that works. You see I have the elite one right there. Rip that. Now we have baller. Which I, I, I like. I, every time. I'm, I'm not even joking. Every time I've talked to this NPC, I've done that. Um, so you got half keys. Every single item in here is not tradable while it's in here. Uh, for the obvious reason being, um, if this was valued at one mil, you could sell it for one mil, so, you know. Uh, for that reason, all of these things are un, uh, unsellable to the shops and whatnot. You can still trade them, you just can't sell them. So yeah, mahogany chest. Uh, basically how this shop is going to work 
Got the butler title right away. Straight, how did he get it? Where did he go? <laughs> just, just be nice. Who wants? All right, I'll just, I'll, I'll pause. All right, so um, as I was saying, every single of, uh, well, really of all of these items right here that I'm, I'm hovering over. Um, basically, you know how there's seven chests, there's two half keys, there's three total pieces, three, uh, six shard pieces because I'm including both of them. Uh, three clues and then three bludgeons. Uh, every single time he's in game, it's going to be randomized. I just did a num random number generator to determine which one was in. So I just did one out of two, and one got in, so two pass. Um, mahogany chest. Watch man. Watch. Watch fit in a few minutes. So. Uh, yeah, so then I did a 1 through 7 to determine which chest it was, landed on 6, so next time it could be chest 1, it could be ch chest 7, it could be loop half, it could be the bottom half. Um, it's going to be random, and it could very well end up exactly the same. We'll see what happens, but um, yeah, Maledition Shard 2, uh, medium clues in here, uh, bl bludgeon accents, so you could, you could probably make the argument, oh, well, you can technically complete all six or all two shields and then the full bludgeon true but it's kind of overpriced and this shop i mean it would probably take you three or four months to do that um because I, like i said i haven't completely decided how long i'm going to keep things how, um, how long i'm going to keep the shop in game and then how long i'm going to have until the next time he's in game but it'll be it'll definitely be a long time so it's not a realistic goal to have uh, Bandit teleports, we'll get to that in a sec. Got some decent supplies. I figured people would want that. I probably need to put more dark crabs in. You know what? I think he bought dark crabs. I think I put like 200 in there, but I think I might need to put more. Um, the, cause the, the obviously bones, I don't want anybody to just straight up be able to buy the prayer pets. So that's why there's only a few in there. But char the, these, there's nothing you can really gain. So it's just a decent food. Uh, you have the uh, box of untradables, uh, the membership, which is straight up membership. You have cooking gauntlet, which do work, yet it's small cash. What did I don't know? What were you expecting? Um, it basically, I'll explain this. Uh, the small cash bag it, it costs five point five mil. Yeah, five point five on the dot, and then you have the uh, and it can give up the ten mil. So you, I don't know. Let's see. Look, I made profit t twice, and then I lost a lot. I lost a little bit. Made a little bit, and then lost a little bit. So. Curious to see how that goes. Obviously, the odds are in favor of uh, Rosalo, but uh, by all means, if you want to fuck with that, go for it. Uh, so these bandit teleports, this is going to be pretty nice. So as you see, they're 11 mil, so pretty expensive. Teleport, it does use it, and you get teleported to some uh, bandits. We'll peer in a couple of these, so you can sort of see what the loots are. Uh, I probably shouldn't have teleported because I still got to teleport people. Uh, it is multi. They're aggressive. There's a couple different places. Is somebody already here? I guess he is already here. So, he, I guess he did buy it. How he's quick. He is super quick. But uh, yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> they're all just staring at him. <laughs> they're all just sitting there staring at him. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. So this would be a, a pretty interesting spot. But as you can see from the loots. Uh, you know what, I probably should not have been doing this. I didn't think anybody would be here. Because now you're going to see a ton of stuff. Like, <laughs> I, guess I don't want to give this guy all these drops. Um, but you can see what kind of drops they have. And um, I'll show you the uh, quest tab in a sec. Um, let me teleport to Zami and then teleport to... You know what, he's home again. Rip. Um, search Bandit. Spell it right. So yeah, they drop clues, half keys. Uh, this is up two. It's not three every time. It's not two every time. It's up two, and uh, you can basically stay there for as long as you can. And then when you're uh, when you're um, you're done, you have to buy another teleport. So I'm gonna work around. I'm gonna mess around with it. This is you know as an idea I had for a while. I just wasn't qu quite sure how it'd work out. And obviously there's a dude already there. Trade, trade him. Uh, some people. Um. Next update will be the uh, newest skilling pets. Uh, the cooking and smithing pets were released. Let me find the file. So these are the next two released. We have the Eternal Flame, which is the smithing pet. We have the uh, we have burnt meat, which is the cooking pet. So those are in game. I think they're both one in five thousand. I think you can get this one from smelting and smithing, and then this one is obviously just from cooking straight up. Uh, the next three will come out soon. The next three being Hunter, Fletching, Crafting. 
Hunter Fletcher Crafting in the last one. And then the last update, the big, uh, the big daddy of them all. Let's just empty everything in here. Back. Scrambled egg. No, not noted scrambled egg. And then what's we'll help? You know, I need a max cape. One, two, three, two, one. I remember that ID just because it's one, three, 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 seven. So the next raid boss was out. Vespula, the second raid boss, is out. This one is uh, range. Although now that I think about it, I never actually made it, so you can't use melee. Well, you can't you can't use melee because it flies, but you can't you could use magic, but no one ever would do it. So it's range. It's a range boss. <laughs> um, I don't want to go into the mechanics too much. I'll show you a little bit of it. Um, and hopefully, I'd, why is that animation? You know, I've noticed that animation glitch before. I'm not sure why it does that. Oh, is it? Cause that's its me I know why it's doing that. Because that's its melee animation, and I was in melee distance. I'll have to fix that, because that looks retarded. But obviously, you wouldn't stand next to it anyways, because that, that would make no sense. Um, so it's not too bad if you're just sitting here praying. Um, as you see it, you get poisoned. And you can, you should definitely bring anti-poisons. Um, if I was you, I wouldn't sip the anti-poison until you finish it, because anti-poisons don't provide immunity. They just cure you, and you'll get poisoned again. There is an item that can prevent that. Uh, I'll just tell you, Serpentine. If you have a Serpentine helmet, it prevents the poison straight up. You still take the 20 damage, as you see I just took right there, but you don't... Um, you, it, it, I got poisoned and took the damage. That's why it's stacked, but... Uh, you still take the 20 damage if, if you have the helmet on, but you don't get poisoned. At about halfway, something... Uh, Something fun's gonna happen. So, as you can see, you can't attack the main boss. You have to kill these things. These things actually use melee. Um, and they have pretty decent health. So, uh, with the team here, it shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it would be worth it to barrage them, but by all means, I, you know, find out. I think I just showed every single mechanic, even though I said I didn't want to. So, um, you know, I should probably go back and kill that, just so nobody gets a free kill. Alright, should be the kill. Uh, P Ring does have super lucky, so hopefully we can get like, a piece. Oh, <laughs> We need to get a rare, though. Green messages are rare. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, but that'll do the video. Thanks for watching. People said they really wanted this one to be super hard. Uh, I didn't make it crazy hard. It's very doable. Obviously, with more people, the better. But uh, we'll just have to monitor it. We'll have to see. If it does turn out to be too easy, I'll have no problems making it harder. Uh, as you see, you do take plenty of damage. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. All the links in the description.